Hello, I'm Nicholas, and let's talk Payday 2. This is something I want to start and just try seeing what happens. Right now I'm doing it unscripted because, well, I don't really know how to write a script and I don't think I really want to take the time for it right now. So this is all taken from my head. So right now all we got going on is the hype train. I think that if you know, are aware of what's going on with the Payday 2 community, you might already know that the hype train, what the hype train is, and what it basically is about. Basically, it is about, it's kind of crime fest, but not free. The thing that people mostly have a problem with is that it regards to, well, the system is like this. Until spring break, according to Overkill, because over here that's much earlier than what they say but until spring break they will count all of the DLC that is being bought in the time between now and over, uh, since it's recording 30 days so until then every single DLC that's bought is being counted towards hype fuel every single DLC counts as one gallon of hype fuel the regular overkill pack grants 3 gallons of hype fuel towards the hype train and the completely overkill pack which is the one that is much more expensive which is like $20, $20 or 20 euros depending on where you live adds 14 gallons of hype fuel sounds kind of good doesn't it although in the end the gallons that they need is a lot more than what you think it would be for example, the first stop was 200,000 gallons. That is a lot, especially considering what kind of DLCs need to be bought. Right now, we got 324,273 gallons added to us the hype fuel, uh, to the hype train. Which uh, means we unlock the side jobs feature and the SWAT, the SWAT van turn enemy. Side jobs feature brings us additional objectives during heists, and the Swan Van turret enemy grants us a new enemy that we have to fight against, which is a turret mounted on top of the Swan Van that tends to arrive in the that tends to arrive in the map. Both of these have been granted right now, and there, we're still waiting for them to become. But that's because they obviously only start working on it when they know that it's coming. So that is in production. And the next to stop is the Butcher Mod Pack, which I actually really want because it, it adds stuff to the AK. And I am a real AK lover, especially in this game. Most people want to stick to their car fours and the DLC weapons, but I like to stick to a good old crusty AK-762. So, what is that, you ask? Well, that goal is 500,000 gallons. We are still 200,000 away. Actually, to be precise, 175,000, but that doesn't really count. Either way. What the problem is with the community right now is the fact that this is a money-based system and that this basically is according to them a scheme to get more money out of the out of the game by forcing people to buy these things but honestly i feel like that is kind of a overstatement especially considering that most of the pa most of the pages especially the completely overkill pack states that it's more for donation purposes for people who actually want to donate to us the event. After all, I am I am a person that actually bought the the standard overkill pack. I didn't buy the completely overkill pack. I might later, but right now not. Either way, I don't think that they actually intended it to be a deal or anything. They just made it so that you can donate to us the event and help other people gain the free goals that are along the line. And that is kind of the purpose of that whole pack. 
it is not to be worth it it is not to be something that is super rewarding so i doubt that uh the secret to uh, to it is going to be a really lot but let's just keep it to that so my opinion towards it is i kind of am okay with this event but at the same time i don't like the money grab readers in this it is just i don't know it's just i don't see why this should have been why couldn't they have done something like crime fest but an actual in-game way why does it have to count as money you're only making yourself look bad over here they should not keep this going for a long time. Hopefully this is the last event that uses something like this. And we'll just keep getting normal DLCs like, no, uh, like we normally would do. So anyway, that was it for the first time that I'm doing this. I am sorry if nothing of it sounds interesting or I just sound really boring, but... I'm trying to be and make this a bit more of a serious series. So, I hope that you had something to it and that you kind of care for my opinion. But either way, that was it. And I hope you have uh, you have a really nice day. And I'll see you next time on Let's Talk Payday 2. The place where I talk about news, because I know Overkill will not let this game die so easily. Take care.